During a recent inquiry into the cosmos, when asked about the latest findings, scientists were confronted with unexpected revelations challenging our prior understanding. The continuous stream of revelations from the James Webb Space Telescope is significantly reshaping our comprehension of the universe. As the telescope peers into the farthest reaches of time, it unravels mysteries that were once beyond the grasp of human perception. However, an astonishing recent revelation has upended our fundamental understanding of the cosmos, suggesting that our notions about the size of the universe might be fundamentally flawed. In a recently published paper, scientists disclosed that new imagery captured by Webb Telescope has brought to light objects emerging a mere 120 million years after the colossal event of the Big Bang. This not only challenges our preconceptions but also has the potential to undermine the very foundations of the conventional cosmological model governing our understanding of the early universe. Astronomers are expressing astonishment at the unexpected revelations captured by the Webb Telescope imagery. Contrary to earlier assumptions, the universe is incredibly old but not infinitely so, challenging Einstein's belief in an ageless, infinite cosmos without a starting point. This revelation marks a significant departure from our long-standing intuition, emphasizing the extent of our uncertainties about the cosmos. Consider this when the Webb Telescope looks as far into space as possible, it will only see about 46.5 billion light years away. This is the radius of our visible universe, which we call the Hubble radius or Hubble sphere. Interestingly, the most distant galaxy ever discovered by the Webb Telescope the Macy's Galaxy which existed just 450 million years after the Big Bang, also exists inside the Hubble sphere. This underscores the intriguing realization that our exploration of the cosmos has inherent limits, challenging our preconceived notions and fueling the excitement of the unknown that lies beyond. As our universe undergoes expansion, the Hubble region, which defines the observable limits, is progressively expanding as well. This expanding Hubble region enables the visibility of objects situated beyond its boundaries, What adds a layer of fascination to this phenomenon is the realization that the universe is not just expanding but is accelerating in its expansion. As we venture beyond the edge of the Hubble sphere, the acceleration of expansion surpasses the speed of light. This acceleration introduces an intriguing twist, the size of the Hubble region won't indefinitely increase. When we cast our gaze upon extremely distant objects lying beyond this Hubble boundary, their emitted light strives to reach us. However, the accelerating expansion causes the space between us and these remote objects to stretch at such a rapid pace that the light they emit cannot keep pace. Actually, this means that the light from those distant stars and galaxies is effectively moving away from us at a velocity faster than it can reach us. Consequently, the Hubble sphere's growth will cease once it reaches the cosmic horizon limit, known as the observable universe. This observable universe forms an imaginary spherical shell around us, spanning a colossal distance of 93 billion light years. Within this boundary, we encounter the maximum distance at which galaxies or stars are observable to us. The light emanating from within this observable universe sphere must have been radiating for an extensive period to reach us. Anything positioned beyond this sphere remains permanently invisible to us. Even with the most advanced theoretical telescopes, peering into such distant realms is an impossibility because the light from those regions has not reached us yet. This leads us to ponder. How vast is the entirety of the universe outside the confines of our observable shell? The answer remains elusive, and while certain cosmological theories provide competing estimates, the potential infinity of the universe is a tantalizing prospect, yet some research indicates that our complete universe is, at the very least, 250 times larger than our observable universe. 
In other estimations, the size of our universe is suggested to be a mind-boggling 10 to the power of 10 to the power of 10 to the power of 122 times larger than the observable universe. This astronomical figure boasts an astounding number of digits. However, the uniform distribution of matter throughout the universe and the isotropic distribution of temperature in the cosmic microwave background radiation suggest the intriguing possibility that our universe might be infinite in size. Now, here's a fascinating aspect, when we gaze deep into space, we're essentially peering into the past. The galaxies farthest from us, close to the Hubble sphere, aren't contemporary galaxies, rather, they are snapshots from billions of years ago, offering us a glimpse into the universe's history. According to the conventional cosmological model, roughly 14 billion years ago, the entire observable universe and the uncharted expanses beyond it supposedly condensed into an infinitely small point known as the singularity. However, this scenario assumes a finite universe. In contrast, if the universe is infinite, as it appears to be, then it has always been infinite. In this case, the Big Bang would have occurred ubiquitously. This perspective challenges the notion that the first galaxies formed in specific regions of space. Instead, they seemingly originated everywhere in the universe, even beyond our observable limits. It appears that matter manifested simultaneously across the universe at a distinct point in time. And the cosmic microwave background radiation we detect universally is the initial light of matter emerging from every conceivable direction. This leads us to reconsider the singularity not as the singular point of origin but as an infinite space where everything, everywhere, came into existence approximately 13.8 billion years ago. However, there's more to the story that adds a layer of complexity to our understanding of the universe. Recent revelations from the Webb telescope are challenging the previously estimated age of our universe, introducing unexpected elements with each deep field image. These discoveries prompt a re-evaluation of the conventional Big Bang model, which posits a 13.8 billion year old universe. As of the close of 2022, the most distant galaxy believed to exist, albeit unconfirmed, was thought to be Sears 9 to 3316. Subsequent examinations, however, revealed that it was a nearby galaxy appearing highly redshifted due to dust clouds, overturning previous assumptions. The James Webb Telescope, in its ongoing exploration, recently unveiled another groundbreaking find, the ultra-high redshifted galaxy known as F200 DB045. This galaxy has an estimated redshift of approximately Z equals 20.4, suggesting it existed around 168 million years after the Big Bang. While it is currently awaiting confirmation, if validated, it would rank among the earliest and most distant galaxies ever observed. Nevertheless, this must undergo rigorous testing for confirmation. Should F200 DB045 be confirmed, it would necessitate a revision of the standard model, further refining our estimates of the universe's age. The Webb Telescope's continuous revelations highlight the dynamic and evolving nature of our understanding of the cosmos. A few months back, the Webb Telescope made a groundbreaking discovery, early massive galaxies just a few million years after the Big Bang. Their existence challenges our current standard model of the universe. As forming galaxies at such a rapid pace would require nearly 100% efficiency in converting all the gas in the universe into stars, an incredibly challenging feat, bordering on the scientifically deemed impossible. Consider this, our own Milky Way took a whopping 13.7 billion years to form, yet the Webb Telescope unveiled galaxies resembling ours mere millions of years after the Big Bang. This revelation has the potential to reshape our understanding of how the earliest galaxies emerged. In another extraordinary finding, the James Webb Telescope, in collaboration with the GA NIFS Research Group, uncovered two merging black holes a mere 700 million years after the Big Bang. The telescope's powerful full-infrared capabilities provided a glimpse of this early black hole collision, suggesting that frequent black hole mergers could be a pathway for their growth in the early universe. 
These discoveries collectively hint that the universe might be older than previously thought or, intriguingly, may have had no beginning and has always existed. As we grapple with the idea that our universe appears infinite in size, the prospect of its age being infinite as well becomes plausible. The Big Bang, as traditionally understood, could be just a specific moment in the ongoing evolution of this perpetually existing causal set, rather than a true beginning. However, further research is essential to determine whether this concept aligns with our current scientific theories and effectively explains the intricate events during the Big Bang. This ongoing crisis in cosmology invites you to share your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for joining us today.